Good morning, everybody. It is April Holly Smith. Hey, and we are going to have a look at the ads today. So we're going to start off with the Save a Lot ad, and then we're going to the Aldi's ad. All right, so right away, I feel like there's a couple good deals. This whole fresh pork butt, it's 99 cents a pound, but this is gonna be a big piece of meat. So you're looking at something in the 15 to $23 range for this piece. So when you're doing your budget, you can plan to do that, but it's gonna be a big chunk of money just to get it. And they have um, pork shredded tacos here. Pork butt is great for um, like if you bought one of these, you could easily cook it and then shred it down or even cut it in half and cube part of it and then shred the other parts and breaking it down into one pound um, freezable Ziplocs. Uh, you can put taco seasoning in with one. You can put, um, you can make it just plain. You can put barbecue sauce on another, have pulled pork sandwiches right away. Sloppy Joe mix is great. It's kind of a different twist on it. Um, Italian seasoning or ranch dressing, or ranch the packets is what I mean with that seasoning to give it a little boost in flavor. But you could do a whole bunch of one pound or one and a half or two pound shredded freezer packs with this and have a lot of meals on hand for it. I'm gonna scoot this up to get rid of this part so that you can see this part down here where the food is. Um, so this is a, a check mark a good deal. $1.49 a pound for boneless, skinless chicken breasts? Why yes, yes I would like that. Now generally you're looking at a tray pack that is between five and seven pounds. So times seven, it's 10.43, um, 0.49 times five is 7.45. So you're looking for between 7.50 and 10.50 for budgeting purposes. So if you're gonna get one, two, three trays, I just budget high and if it comes low, that's fine for this guy right here. Um, T-bone steaks, not terribly bad at 460. I'm not in the market for them. Uh, Lillian's here uh, helping me. Four pound bag of, oh, divide, oh, divide by four. That's right. So these are about 50. These are blackberries. These are both blackberries. Okay, so these are about 47 cents a pound. That's an orange, that's right. So this is not a terribly bad price, especially because it's a larger four pound pack. Sometimes you see it in a two or three pound, so this is an okay deal. These are in season now, by the way, so it is the best time to get the best tasting oranges. This is a go deal if you are in the market for blackberries, 99 cents or under. One pound package for these whole grain beans also. It's a go deal. There's some good stuff here. Please don't do that, honey. You know what? We'll show you at the end, okay? This three pound bag of apples. 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 Again, we're looking at 60 cents a pound. It's like 59, but it it's not as good as it has been in, say, the last two or three weeks, Mommy, but still, it's a real good price, and especially for a fresh crop. That's not oh, That's good. For a fresh crop, that's pretty darn good. And this bag of potatoes, hey guys, if you finally have got yourself together from Thanksgiving, got your leftovers cleared out, your refrigerator's back in reasonable shape, and you're kind of like, hey, let's get some freezer stuff. Maybe you're looking at this pork here, maybe you're looking at this chicken, um, because I totally would break those down um, into freezer packs. But you know what, something that you can do is if you want to spend two fifty or five dollars and get two of these and do a ginormous batch of mashed potatoes great time to do that <clears throat> you can put them in your instant pot you can um when you put your pork butt or any meal in the oven just put all your potatoes on a tray and put them in there at the same time you're not heating the oven up for a second time you can just leave it go so you're only essentially running an extra 
15 or 20 minutes if necessary. Cook all your potatoes, let them cool on the counter or on the stovetop, put them in the refrigerator until the next day so you feasibly could get these. Cook them through the week, keep them in the refrigerator, and then make a giant batch of um, mashed potatoes and put those in your freezer as freezer mashed potatoes. It's a good time to do that. Especially because you have all of these meats to go with it. <gasps> you found a look at we found is a Christmas ornament hanger. We're gonna save that till later, okay? <laughs> so then over here, this tiny tiny thing, this bone in pork steaks, country style ribs. I'm not a, a huge fan of either one of those, but I will say that the pork steaks, um, if you do a shake and bake and I'm talking about, I do the homemade shake and bake with the um, breadcrumbs and some seasoning and put them on like a, a flat tray and put them in the oven and bake them. They're nice. It's a lot like um, a quick man's chicken fried steak without all the frying and the dipping and all that stuff. So that's not bad if you're into that. So this is the only thing I'm kind of just not that interested on this page. Well, this may be too. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. Now, we're going to open it up, and right across the top here, we see some of these baking staples. Some of them are not, like, this is not terrible, but really, what I would have liked to have seen is that you went and got a whole bunch when they were 99 cents or 88 cents at Aldi's, because this is the store we're in Coburn Farms. Sorry, I'm not showing it to you. The Coburn Farms. You should just get the, the Aldi's one and stick it in the freezer. I have mine. I got 12. 12 8 ounce bricks. I got 6 pounds of cream cheese. I don't even eat cream cheese. But everyone in my family is pretty excited when I made some cream cheese icing for the gingerbread cake that I made the other day. Everyone loved that. And it was so, like, oh, I just had to put it on, on the counter. So, some of these prices, um, like this, should be 90, 95 cents or less. If you need it this week and you're there, you can get it. It's a good, better than normal price. But, at all these going to be like 95 cents probably for the rest of the season. Um, I, at least she's pointing at this right here. She's pointing at the little girl baking. Do you want to be a little girl baking? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It hurts me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to tell you all of these nuts are a better price than all these. All of this stuff is a better price than all these. Uh. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, my. Um, goodness. Okay, so over here, this Coburn, this Coburn Farms whipped cream is cheapest I pretty much have ever seen it. If you have not stocked up on whipped cream, seriously, get some and put it in your freezer. I usually get like 10 this season and keep them in the freezer, and I think that we went through like five of them already. Make your own cookie dough. I mean, I don't know. Um, now, this Markham Ground Cinnamon is a great price, and I typically get this pretty darn often, and I'm very happy with it. So, now, I want to point these out, these Ginger Evans Foil Packs. They're 99 cents. They're actually cheaper than the Dollar Tree, because if you look in the tiny, tiny print, it says three packs. So, you get three instead of two, which is what you get at the Dollar Tree. So, if you happen to have a save a lot around, now's the time to go there instead. Now over here, this this column, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna bump it up so we don't look at this and we can look at all of this at once. Um, it's just not that great. Uh, it's kind of the same stuff that has been on sale. Um, it's okay. Like I have gotten a couple of these as you've seen in my hauls, and they're real good and everyone loves them. Um, Again, if you see something here that you can get with a coupon, like maybe these Michelinas or this banquet, um, then these can be a real good deal. But don't get peanut butter here this week. It's not a good deal. Um, they have peanut butter. Where's the peanut butter? It's right here. Where is peanut butter? Yeah. Okay, so on the back, now they have some, some alcohol. Oh, I'm not really into that, so I not my like thing. Them. You like those? And this. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna move it up again so that we we bacon, miss the header. Bacon. Bacon. She she knows where the good stuff is. So um, final price when Happy. you buy three. These are obviously three dollars. 
I really like these to be like two fifty or less, but it's not terrible. And again, if you have a coupon left over from the holiday, from Thanksgiving, there is actually Pepsi and some other coupons out there floating around. Um, this Quick Oats it seems really high to me. Um, uh, but I would say that this Betty Crocker cake mix, again, anything under a dollar, a dollar or under is what you should be paying for a box mix with 88 cents being the sweet spot. And I'm going to, I'm going to get something to show you specifically about this talk. But, so I get the giant eagle ad and over here it has like one of these lift off things. It's mix and may, mix and match. It's buy five and then when you buy five each thing is 99 cents. You have a couple things like a four pound sugar. So you remember what I said about some of these things not being so good. I know this is powdered sugar and brown sugar. It's not white sugar like this but 99 cents for white sugar is a darn good deal. They have eggs and then here they have confectioner sugar and brown sugar. Now, it's a one pound variety. So in this case, again, you have to be a smart shopper. This is a better value because it is a 32 ounce, which is two pounds. So this is no good. Cream cheese is a dollar. Remember what I said about this? It should be 99 cents or less. And again, it's just this store brand, but this is the thing right here. This in my opinion, Duncan Hines is the best, moistest, most delicious, the kind you don't have to monkey around with and add anything to to make it the best tasting. Even the most premium brand you can get for a dollar or under if you're a patient. So that's what I have to say about that. So like I said, the super moist though is, is comparable. It is the Betty Crocker version of the Duncan Hines, but that's why I'm saying don't ever pay more than a dollar for the, the box cake mix. Um, check your dates because they last a long time, so you can totally get a whole bunch now and stick them in your pantry. Down here, um, sorry, I probably need to do that. Bacon, $4 for a pound. Not as good as I've seen it before. Um, it's okay, but you know, like when I can get it for $2.99 for 12 ounces or 14 ounces, that extra four ounces being like two dollars more or a dollar more is like really pricey. So, um, and these are some deals they've kind of had a couple times already. So I'm not real excited about them. So let's have a look at the Aldi's ad. So Aldi's girl has some stuff. Now, all these has a four pound bag of navel oranges. They're not as good, but they're pretty darn close. They're only a dime's difference. So this is still a good to go deal at Aldi's. Pomegranates, I really enjoy pomegranates. I would buy them because they're under a dollar. I got spoiled in Nevada. We would go to the pomegranate festival in Moapa. Actually, it was in Logandale. Logandale, Moapa, um, they're the same exit, but they're on opposite sides of the freeway, and they are different communities. But um, <clears throat> at Logandale, really, really enjoyed it. There used to be kids that would sit out um, in Indian Springs, even, um, at the post office and have, like, instead of a lemonade stand, they would sell their pomegranates, and I totally would get them all the time going to Totopah. So they're, in my mind, good to go. $1.99 for a two-pound bag. Remember what I was talking about? This is a three-pound bag, and it's 20 cents less. So, um, still, it's not terrible, it's a dollar a pound, but it's like, this is half of that per pound. So, I say look for a better deal on that. But, I will say, if you look, these are Honeycrisp apples, and for some people that trumps the price, because they love their Honeycrisp. Um, if you see blackberries here, both 99 cents, and this is a good to go deal as well. Look at this. I bet they have a ton of eggs left over from that 49 cents that they had. Limit of three. I say get three. Um, now's the time to have hard boiled eggs. Like if you are a family of one or two, still get the three eggs because they're going to go up next week. And eggs actually will keep for a really long time, like more than 30 days. Um, but time to boil a couple eggs for your salad. 
time to have egg salad for one meal. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do with it. Uh, I actually enjoy having a hard boiled egg slice on top of my regular iceberg lettuce salad. So um, down here, I want to let you know that it is important for you to choose if you're going to be buying a ham at Aldi's. My Aldi's sold out very, very, very early, um, like maybe this week of the month for hams. Last year, I literally carried the last ham out of the store. So um, I don't know that these are super fantastic deals. Um, like we have some hams that are going to be sold by the pound. This is the Giant Eagle ad, by the way, uh, $1.49 a pound. So you could probably get it somewhere else, but I'm just saying if you only have an Aldi's or you're only going to be going to Aldi's because that's where your ride is going or that's how your life is just going to work out, you don't have time to go to six other stores, think about what you're going to get and make a plan now because I don't want, I don't want you to fail to plan and then have to plan to fail. So, um chicken tenderloins actually for $1.99 is not a bad price this is an average two pound pack so you're looking at I'm just gonna make it times two for two dollars you're looking at an average tray of five and a half pounds if you can get some of these especially if you can get them on markdown break them up and these make fantastic chicken fingers because this is what raisin kings this is the part of the chicken that they use okay so we're almost done okay this I feel like the whole thing is done with this black and it's looking pretty classy now every single thing in here chicken. is for chicken. holiday chicken. entertaining that's that's a, a shrimp cocktail and, and a martini glass and mm -hmm. okay so what I want you to take away from the, this whole page right here all the way down every single price is in red and white which means it is say Pancakes. it with me now not on sale pancakes. so look through here pancakes. it's not pancakes honey it's a brioche christmas tree so what i want you to do is i want you to look at it and go well that's real nice that these things are all available at all these and this is the price of them stop honey please that's what you should do with everything on this page now over here you're going to see very similarly not a red and yellow up here the only the only only thing that is on sale is this almond biscotti right here i'm not in the market for that so something that i want to point out here this christmas tree right here it's in a package it's a brioche christmas tree which it's vanilla cream or chocolate chip so i'm going to show you something a little bit later in the week do not buy an eight dollar christmas tree i'm going to show you how to make this for Say it with me. A dollar. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Okay. So, um, yeah, a dollar, guys. We're going to turn the page. Finally, look, look, look. What do we see here? Things that are on sale. Oh. Okay, so. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. And red. Look at this. This 18-ounce peanut butter. This is the small one. Peanut it's a dollar fifteen. Yay. Syrup's on sale. I'm actually going to get a couple of these because we we don't use a ton of it all the time, but uh, we do cycle through it pretty regularly. I have freezer French toast and freezer waffles, so this is going to be a go thing for me. Um, I'm going to scooch down. Now we have some entertain. These are what I consider are the everyman entertaining things, but do you see it? I think if you see it, you see it. What's homegirl going to be stocking up on? I'm going to bring it up to you. What, 90 cent? Mm, yeah, girl, I'm going to buy a whole ton of those. I might even buy like 10 of them. Um, yeah, it's that good a deal. Because we, we use these every day that Chris goes to work. And if he doesn't get one, he gets real cranky. But I'm going to tell you, every single thing in this row right here is a good deal. Um, chips? Chips 100% keep. Me hungry. I know. We're going to get you something here soon. So, chips 100% keep. So, go ahead and buy all the chips that you're going to need from now until Christmas. Get it done. Buy it while it's on sale. Every school day. These are a good price. Yeah, yes, it's an every school day. Over here, again. Every stick. 
I don't know. I have to. We have to get her up and see. I hear her coughing, but she might be okay to school today. Evelyn's sick, in case you haven't heard. Um, baking mix. This is not terrible. It's under two dollars. So if you wanted to get this now and spend some time making some pancakes or waffles, Mommy, um, just make sure they're. You want to be in school too? Yes. Aww. Um, make sure they have fully com cooled before you bag and put them in to the freezer. That will keep them from sticking. So, if you wanted to make an afternoon of this, or if you just wanted to do your meal plan and have a little breakfast for dinner, maybe waffles and chicken, or, you know, just... <coughs> guess who doesn't want waffles and chicken? Or just Mommy, pancakes? Like that. That's nice, isn't it? Um down here again some stuff that's on sale um you might think about looking at the dates and getting an extra one this week because some of these are pretty darn good brilliant this especially just looks like the best to me if you're going to be doing any baking um hey do you remember how those these were on here so if you have a not super moist or not duncan Hines, you can add a half a cup of plain vanilla yogurt and it will totally moisten your cake up and it'll make it feel more like a homemade cake and it's cheap. Um, and if you already have it in, in the house, ta-da. These are mostly baking supplies. Obviously these toaster tarts, these pop tarts are not, but again, these pop tarts are gonna keep. So if you are a family that eats pop tarts, now's the time to go ahead and get a couple extra and ride out the season with number one, not having to get them again. And number two, eating the cheap ones, the on sale ones, cheap sounds cheap. Um, graham crackers this time of year, going to make um budget girls christmas crack i know you're going to meet some of those it's a good price they're also really nice to have around just to give the kids to snack on um these are not for me but maybe um the next page has not that much food i'm going to show you i'm just going to say right now do everyone a favor and do not buy this giant bear er these are here my kids we got to not talk about that because they're pretty excited. Also, I'm going to say, is it weird that they're selling vinyl albums? Okay. But this is fun right here. I'll tell you that. I don't even have to have batteries for it, but that stuff is fun. Over here, again, non-food deals. Um, just going to show them to you. It's not going to say a ton about them. Although this, this shelf here... If you have storage problems and you don't have a ton of tall stuff, a couple of these in your cabinets will... No more milk. No more milk. Well, let me fill that right up for you. <coughs> there it is. Go play. Um, these can go a long way for that, to adding some extra space. On the back, we have tons of prices. Uh, prices so low. And look, they're all red and yellow, so they're on sale. So I'm going to move up so this banner is off so we can see the whole thing. Um, Regular 40, si 40 ounce peanut butter is two forty nine. Well, a girl's going to be loading up on that. This girl. Also, peanut butter cookies. Are you going to be doing a, a cookie exchange where you're going to be making peanut butter? Or Yeah, this is the time to get it. Um, and I can personally vouch this makes good peanut butter cookies. Um, This, if you're gonna do the ice box cake that I, I made, this is a great, this is what I use. This is the same brand and everything. Um, if you're gonna be doing any kind of ice box cakes, banana puddings, whatever, time to get that and load up on it. Now, this I wanna point out, at first I was like, that's not a good deal, but it's 32 ounces. This is a two pound box. For a dollar nine, that's a pretty decent two pound box, especially because you don't have to make an extra trip for it. Um, these are like what I would consider exotic meats. We have bison, or bison, grass-fed meat, grass-fed stew meat. I'm going to assume that that's beef. And then coho salmon. These are probably a little rich for my blood, but that's okay. But look here, ice cream is on sale. Are you going to be making fuzzy punch with ice cream? You're going to be serving ice cream with pudding, cake, whatever. If you have room in your freezer, it's a good time to just kind of load up on it because it's like a whole dollar off. So, whew, that was kind of a lot, wasn't That's it, guys? That's all done? 
I'm almost all done. So, right now done. these are the deals for this week. <laughs> Comment down below with, number one, how your ads are different and what you think the best deal Bye. that I got. Hold on, baby. That I got and the best deal that you have in your ads. All right, guys. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. See you later. Yeah.